Good evening, everybody. It seems there's myths about C++ that just won't die. In the 90s, you know, the C crowd, everybody said C++ is no good because, well, one of the reasons is virtual functions are slow. You don't ever want to use them. And there are all sorts of other methods, techniques. I wrote an article back then in one of the programming magazines that debunked this. And then I was writing some articles for Hackaday.com in 2016 or so, and it wasn't the general C community, but the embedded community that was using C that came up with the same comments that they had, had been disproved pretty much to the general C community. So one of them is that slow is a perennial assertion, and after all this, chain of pointers must be slow. You know, you got an instance, it's got to go to the V table pointer, got to go to the V table, got to look up what the function is, and then execute the function. That's got to be slow, you know, it just makes sense. But it turns out it's not. The thing they don't consider is, how would you solve the problem otherwise? You got the same thing. Like in an embedded system, you read in a bunch of inputs, you do some processing, and you generate a bunch of outputs. Well, if you're generating outputs on, you know, 50 pins on a microprocessor, then you want to put it in a container of some type, walk through it, doing all the output values to those pins. How are you going to do that in C? Well, there's a couple of ways, but one of the ways that I used was using a switch. And I used an Arduino processor, two of them actually, different ones, to, to time this. So what we're going to do, the code show you a little bit here, is there's digital outputs and there's analog outputs. Digitals are just on or off. Analogs have a variation from 0 to 255 on the, the analog output for an Arduino. And we'll make a list of about 16 pins alternating digital and analog and iterate through that list so that every, just as we would do at the end of the output cycle and, you know, get the output set. And then we'll do that iteration 10,000 times to get a nice long period of time that we can divide and say, okay, this is roughly the time period it takes to generate, go through the overall list. Oh, that's not looking good. Okay. Um, I use Linux. I made a PowerPoint because I assumed we would be on Windows. It's not working. Okay. So what I did was create an enum for the C version of it, which is um, either analog or digital. And then there's a, a, a structure which uses the enum as a flag and the pin number for the output. And that simply walks through, create an array with those, walks through that, doing the output for each of them. Um, Okay, I'm getting my C struct. Okay, so we have the loop. The C works here, so C++ works. Um, we create a pin output abstract, which has a virtual, uh, pure virtual method for output and the pin, and we create a pointer to it. And then we have a digital output, which has, you know, inherits from pin abstract and does the void output that it, it needs to you know, the output process that it needs to do. Analog, output, basically the same thing. And then we create an array of uh, the digital output, the, the output pins, and we run it through the four range loop, pulling each, each pin number out and doing the output. What happens? So we go run through this process 10,000 times. Virtual functions on an Arduino Uno process board are actually faster than the C processing. Going through a switch statement, what, that, I'm sorry I missed that because the code wasn't there. You use a switch statement to determine which output you're going to do on the C, and then, you know, whether it's analog or, or digital, and you, that's the heart of the loop that walks through the array. So the C switch statement, 110 and a half microseconds, C virtual is 103. That's on the UNO R3. A do, pro, do is, uh, uses this a slightly different processor and has more registers, so basically the same times are the same. So there's no 
cost to using virtual functions in bare metal processors. Now, what triggered my recent thoughts about this is I saw an article about not using virtual functions on a PC. And somewhere in there, there's problems with the caching you get into with the memory caches for the PC processors. If the code's not you know, you get code and you get the virtual table in a different block of code. One of those may not be in memory when you want to use them, and there's delays. I haven't gone into the details of why that is a problem. But underlying it's always test your applications and test it in the environment that you're going to be using it with, you know, on an Adrito, on a, these embedded systems. You're not going to see any problems. On a PC, maybe you're going to see some problems. There's some other myths, which I did some other articles about it. People are complaining about, you know, you got these copy constructors and all this other thing going on there. You got cloud boat because you got all these things. Disprove that. One of the bottom lines is these are things that you're doing anyway. We just put them in the place where you can see them and be sure that they're there getting done. You know, you're going to initialize something. You're going to delete that file pointer. We make sure you know where you have to put it to get it done. Thank you.